Hi, I'm Bill Griechens. I'm the uh, media critic for the Arizona Republic, AZ Central, and the USA Today Network. And I'm here with a look ahead. This is a time of year when there's a lot of top 10 lists and we look back at the year. I've made a million of them myself. But this year, I want to look at what the media should do in 2019. And I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you everything, that is. You're going to have to read the column itself. But I am going to hit three highlights. These are some things that I wish for. This is part of my wish list for the media in 2019. One is, it sounds easy, tell the truth. And it is easy in some ways, I guess. But what I'm really talking about here is, you know, not being afraid to call things what they are. Uh, you know, if, if the sky is blue, I don't need a source to tell me that. If the sky is blue, uh, I, I don't need to attribute it. Uh, if the sky is blue, I don't need somebody from the anti-blue sky faction to be interviewed to give me sort of an even-handedness. There's way too much false equivalency still in the media, and I think we gotta get rid of it. The big thing here, of course, is can we call a lie a lie? We're, kind of, we're getting a little more comfortable with that. I think we're gonna have to get even more so if we're gonna make this thing go forward. The next thing is to get rid of this term fake news, at least is the way that we're using it now. Here is for the 10,000th, and I hope last time, a little piece of advice. Fake news is not news that you don't like. It's not news that makes you look bad. It's not news that makes you uncomfortable. What it is, in reality, is a story that doesn't exist. And there's plenty of those coming from all kinds of places. That really is fake news. But every time that you get burned in a story or something, you do something that comes to light that you don't like or you're not proud of, don't try to dismiss it with fake news. Maybe don't do the dumb thing to begin with. And the last one, or at least the last one I'm going to divulge here, remember, read the column, is to stop calling the Trump presidency a reality show. It's lazy, it's dumb, and it's inaccurate. Sure, it's reality, but it ain't a show, not at least in the way that The Apprentice was. And by the way, The Apprentice was a pretty dopey show anyway. But what's going on here now is, you know, government and, and, and the, the workings of it that's going to affect lives for generations to come. Maybe you agree with it, maybe you don't. But it's not just entertainment. It's a lot more important than that. Are aspects of it weird? Are they crazy? Sure, they're fun to write about. They're fun to read about. But those are not the things that are really important. And I think what we've got to do here is get rid of the Apprentice references, get rid of the reality TV references, and let's just get back to real life. That's three for now. There's more to follow. Again, if you read the column, I'll keep beating that horse until you read it. But I do think that all of us going forward can look for even more coverage. We've got to pace ourselves. It's a long year. If the last two years have proven anything, it's going to be crazy. We need to move forward. We need to get things right. And we need to be trusted. Let's do our part and let's let the audience do theirs. Happy 2019.